Coming to you from South Mountain Community College, I'm Ashley Neville, and it's time to go inside Maricopa Sports. On this edition of Inside Maricopa Sports, we'll hear how the South Mountain Community College men's golf team continues to dominate. Then we'll head over to Scottsdale Community College to talk with head football coach Doug Madowski on a new edition of Coach's Corner. Also, basketball is right around the corner, so Kevin Hunt will bring us the latest on the Phoenix College men's basketball team. All coming up on Inside Maricopa Sports. Stay tuned. A single ember that escapes from a wildfire can travel more than a mile. You can't control where that ember will land, only what happens when it does. Get Fire Adapted now at fireadapted.org. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. In the past four years, the South Mountain Community College men's golf team has won the NJCAA D2 national title three times. I catch up with head coach Andy Walker and his team to find out what we can expect to see from them this season. Unstoppable is a term that best describes the South Mountain Community College men's golf team. First year head coach Andy Walker led his team to a national title last season. It, it was incredible. I, I tell people, I was just talking about it yesterday actually to some people about how much fun it was um, coaching a team, recruiting all the players that came to the team, uh, assembling them and working with different personalities and styles. Walker was also given the 2015 Dave Williams National Coach of the Year Award. Dave Williams was actually a good friend of mine's coach at the University of Houston. He's one of the greatest coaches ever. And so when he talks about his coach, and now I'm getting mentioned in the same likeness of winning his award, it, it's pretty special. Returning sophomore Connor Klein had a lot to do with the team's success last season. But his journey didn't start out that way. After not being able to play last fall and not having earned his spot on the team, Klein didn't qualify for the first tournament. So I kind of put a little bit of a chip on my shoulder to kind of get in there and play in every tournament because I felt like I was a good enough player to for sure play in all the tournaments. Klein continued working on his game and eventually made it into the starting lineup. He made a huge impact right away. He became kind of a silent leader that everyone can follow in what he was doing, seeing the results he was having on the golf course. Klein's success skyrocketed, going from an average player to the number one player in the country. He even earned the NJCAA D2 Arnold Palmer Individual National Champion Award after his team won the national title. But it was the team accolades that meant more to Klein than the individual ones he earned. We were more, more focused on the team aspect. That was kind of our goal all year is to like win the national championship as a team. This year, Klein acknowledges that he might not be the best player on the team. SMCC added Justin Warren, a strong golfer from Australia, who was ranked number 23 in Australia and number 99 in world amateur golf rankings. Anytime you have somebody who you feel like is pushing you to the next kind of level or limit, it's always good. The Cougars sit at the top of the NJCAA D2 golf rankings, but in order to stay there, Coach Walker explains what his team must do. I expect to see a lot of good golf. You know, I expect to see our top team uh, start to take uh, shape and form. Right now, there's, we're going to be moving players in and out of the lineup to see how they react under tournament preparation and tournament situations. If the Cougars stick to the game plan, not only will they stay number one, but... I'm going to have to build a little bigger case over here because we're going to have another one you know, coming our way. For Inside Maricopa Sports, I'm Ashley Neville. After watching all these wonderful golfers, I decided to see what I can do. Yeah, because they're bombing it. Keep that left foot down. You missed it. <laughs> Tiger Woods would have definitely laughed at my golf swing, but that won't stop me from trying again. Stay with us on Inside Maricopa Sports. Doug Madowski joins me on a new edition of Coach's Corner.
The Scottsdale Community College football program has been a powerhouse over the past few years, but this season is a different story. I sat down with head football coach Doug Madowski on this edition of Coach's Corner. Welcome to Coach's Corner. I'm Ashley Neville, sitting alongside head coach Doug Madowski. You've been with the Scottsdale Community College football program since 2005. You led your team to a conference championship and the Valley of the Sun Bowl, won both in 2013. What did that mean for the program? I think for, for me personally as a head football coach in 2013, it was, it was the highlight of our career so far. Um, you know, I was a part of the conference championship team that we won in 2004 with Coach Giovondo here as a member of his staff then. Um, and we'd been to the Valley of the Sun Bowl in 2001 as well and lost that one. So I think for us, it was kind of the, the year that we had actually put it all together. Um, so I think it, to that point, it was, it was the biggest moment for our program, at least in recent history, um, doing it in a third team. And you've seen nearly 95% of your students go on to four-year schools, get scholarships. What does education mean for you? I think it's the backbone of why we're here. At the end of the day, you know, I mean, football, it's, it's a, I argue obviously that it's the, most, it's the best game in the world. Um, you know, for me, I personally played it, I love the game. Um, but at the end of the day, it, we're a college and we're here for these kids to get an education, get an opportunity, and, and, and we, we utilize football as, as another vehicle to help promote the academic aspect of the college and, and, and the lessons that you learn through, through the college. And I know that you played a while back and you also played at a junior college where you got your start. What did the junior college level do for you as a player and a person? You know, I, I attributed everything that I've had, all the successes that I've had academically, certainly back to my community college experience. Um, you know, I, mean, I tell our guys all the time that if it hadn't been for that time in my life, I wouldn't have, you know, gone on to school and, and received my degrees and, and done the things that I was able to do. And you've also seen some of your players move on and go to the NFL. What does that, you know, mean for you as a coach, knowing that you kind of helped prep them to that level? No, I think it's exciting. I think that the biggest thing that, one of the things that I took from Coach Giovanni just in working with him on his staffs here, you know, he used to always say all the time that, you know, it's not my turn anymore, it's your turn. You know, I had a great turn and, and, and now it's your turn, it's your opportunity to go play. Certainly it's exciting, you know, I mean, I, I, every time I turn on the Green Bay Packers game, now I'm not, a, I'm certainly not a Green Bay Packers fan, but with that being said, Mike Pinnell, who played here at Scottsdale Community College, is a starting defensive end for Green Bay right now. So every time I get a chance to, you know, text him before a game, text him after a game, and just check in on him and see how he's doing, I think it's exciting when when drafts come and go, and and you you know talk to kids, or you get the text message from kids, and they get picked up, and just the opportunity to know that that those guys were here and, and that you impacted their life and in a small piece, had a small part of what it is that they were able to go out and achieve their goals. You know, obviously you get excited for those guys to get that opportunity. So now that you're actually, you know, a coach of the game, do you, you know, follow the NFL? Do you like any teams in particular? Or is it kind of different now that you're actually a coach? You know, I, I mean, I grew up in Northern California. So you know, my entire family is Oakland Raider fans. So I had two choices. I could either be like everybody else in my family or I could go be a San Francisco 49ers fan. Personally, I'm a 49er fan from that standpoint. Um, you know, I, I guess I've always grown up as kind of the black sheep of my family as far as that relates. But, you know, living out here in Arizona, I think I've grown a heart for the Arizona Cardinals. I just love football in general, though. I think it's always fun to, to watch what different people are doing. I don't think I get much time to watch a lot of NFL football, certainly. I don't think I have enough time to watch any college, any college football at this time of the season. Um, but, you know, I, I still obviously enjoy watching. I think I watch it a little bit differently than a lot of people watch it. Um, you know, you're always watching different schemes, different things that people are doing and, and watching how they're trying to gain an advantage over their opponent more so than just watching the game for the enjoyment of the game but but certainly still a fan of the game so do you apply what you see on TV to anything that you do on the field yourself you know I think I think that you'll watch it and try to understand more the, the concepts of what it is that people are doing and why they're doing what, what it is that they're doing and, and the nice part about being in the coaching aspect of the game is that those people become resources I mean the, co the coaching community people are always willing to work together and, and, and there's no secrets to what it is that people are doing you can you can watch something on a Saturday night or a Saturday afternoon and a lot of the times you can pick up the phone and call people and email people and 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 start to get an idea of why somebody is doing what it is that they're doing and and start to really develop some of the con a better idea of the concepts and things so that you can start to incorporate some of those schemes into your own philosophies I guess you could say as a coach you are also a teacher but in order to be a teacher you also have to be willing to learn what are some of the things that you've been able to take away and learn from your athletes you know, I think I think you learn something new from them every day. You know, I, I try to tell myself, even though I'm getting older and older, I, you know, you try to say that it, it hasn't been all that long ago that I've walked the same path that they're walking. I think that I think that the fact that I was a community college football player certainly I've, I've been down this path. And you know, we tell our guys all the time, you know, our staff, a lot of our guys on our staff. I'm certainly not the only one that's ever been a community college football player that's on our staff. Most of our staff, in fact, has, has either played here or played community college football. You know, one of the things that we tell them all the time is that we have actually walked this mile. We've, we've, we've taken the steps in your shoes and, 
you know, there's more than one way to skin a cat. We just happen to like our way best, you know. And, and so when we talk about you need to take care of the steps of A to B to C to get ultimately your goal of moving on to a four-year school, we've actually had to walk these paths and, and, and have a pretty good idea that if you'll, if you'll follow the plan, we can actually make sure you are successful at the end of the day. And just one more question for you. Scottsdale has been kind of struggling a little bit this season. Um, what are you guys going to do to turn that around? You know, I, I think at the end of the day, it really does. It, 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 there really is a process to it, and, and it, certainly we haven't been as successful as we wanted to be this year. Um, you know, I mean, we're still proud of where we were the last two years, winning 18 games. With, with that being said, we know that we're a pretty good football team still. We know that we're a play here, a play there away from being a much better team than we've been this season. And, and, and certainly we're going to keep grinding. We're going to go. To, we're going to keep going to work. Life is about a lot more getting kind of hit in the mouth and how you respond to it than it is about than it is about the ups all the time. So we're going to get back up and, and keep going for it. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Coach's Corner, and good luck to you the rest of the season. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Next on Inside Maricopa Sports, Kevin Hunt gives us an update on the Phoenix College men's basketball team. People think I'm trash, but they're wrong. Today I'm just an aluminum can, but one day I could be a stadium. The Phoenix College men's basketball team has made it to the NJCAA D2 National Tournament seven times in the past nine seasons, winning the national title in 2014. But new players this year has head coach Matt Gordon in a rebuilding mode. We have to move with Matt Gordon has had an impressive career at Phoenix College, helping to cover the walls of the gymnasium with championship banners. But a junior college coach can't rest on his laurels. There's too much turnover. National Player of the Year Brandon Brown has moved on after leading the team to a national title and back-to-back -back Final Four appearances. It will be tough to replace their leading score, but the benchmark of a Coach Gordon squad is always buying into the team concept really about being unselfish. Guys that are just looking to put up numbers and usually don't make it here. And they know that and people understand that. Um, but if you want to get ready to play at the next level, you know, we can help you with that because of our culture. And, and those are the people we're looking for, guys that want to work, compete, get better every day. Team captains KJ Davis and Russ Davis have never regretted their decision to go to Phoenix College. They bought into the program and have been leaders on and off the court. We pretty much hold everybody accountable and we lead each other. It's not just one guy out here, it's everybody doing the work. I think every practice we make huge strides and since we don't have the same scoring threat with Brandon right. being gone, we have to learn our offense a lot more, learn how to move the ball. So I think that you know, with every practice we get better and that's what we want. We really preach selflessness and family playing for each other. Um, you know, the we before me kind of deal. I know it sounds cliche, but it, it's true, it's what we do. Uh, I think if you can get guys to play for each other, you're going to be very successful. Oh, I love this team. We have a lot of coachable guys, so we're learning concepts really quickly, and we all together, we all love one another, and we play for one another, and that's going to be important, especially down the road in playoff time. For Coach Gordon, it is more than just winning titles. It's making his guys better players and getting them to the next level. All six sophomores from last year's squad earned scholarships from four-year schools. That makes the coach a happy man. To me, that's a successful year when those kids can continue their education and move on to the next level and be successful there. Gordon believes he's built a culture that is bigger than the player turnover he deals with every season. As a coach and a teacher, he wants his players to be the best they can be. A winning program is a bonus for recruiting. I love the way he runs his program. He has a win in history. They won a national championship the year before. Did that help? Oh, yes, sir. That was basically the icing on the cake for me, <laughs> that national championship, because I won one, too. Whether they win a championship or not, opponents know that Coach Gordon will have his team ready to play. I'm Kevin Hunt for Inside Maricopa Sports. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Inside Maricopa Sports. For dates and times of our show, go to our website at maricopa.edu slash mctv. Visit our Facebook page for all news and updates, and check out our YouTube channel for all of MCTV's original programming. So for our entire Inside Maricopa Sports team, I'm Ashley Neville. We'll see you next time. <laughs>